Hi everyone. Just before we start this episode, I just want to touch on a thing that was brought up on our last episode, and that is our timeline of where we are with the build. The episode a fortnight ago was in April, as a lot of you noticed. The next few episodes are going to be around the same time, around May, June time. The reason for this is we want to keep our episodes regular. We want to put one out every two weeks, and with the jobs that we're working at at the moment, we have to go away for three or four months at a time, so we don't actually get to work on the boat. This episode took place in May, and then we've got a couple more around the same time, and then we're going to jump straight to now, which is December, and then we're ramping up work again around this time. I finish work in two weeks' time, and then I'm going to be on the boat full-time for at least three months. In our episodes, we ask for advice and things like that, and I know it seems weird to ask advice in December about something we're working on in April, but as you can see, we are absolutely no further along now than we are in this episode. We've got a couple of bit, no, no spoilers. We're not much ahead now than we were in April because we have been away, but, so all the advice we ask for is still relevant to us. We haven't even started on the galley yet. We've taken all the comments that we've been sent and we're we're really paying attention to those because that's really important to us. So please don't think that if we're asking advice, it's pointless because we're eight months down the line. We are not eight months down the line. We are just as as far along as we were then. I make no apologies. This is what it is. So I hope you enjoy this episode. Any questions, leave them in the comments below and we will reply to them. So thank you very much. our first day back working really since we've been away for our Cory Bobs. Cory Bobs? God save <laughs> yeah. the king. That's the Holly Bobs over the coronation if you didn't know. <laughs> we went to the Lake District for a few days which was absolutely great but now we are back and we are hitting it hard. We left the galley half done. We started to demolish it. Three quarters I'd say. Yeah. Okay fine. Not Three quarters. Time. Yeah it's literally the last little bits now. I'm going to focus on that today. I'm going to go um, take the small little bulkhead out. So what we could do, if we can just get the fiberglass out and then I might just be able to template the shape. I'm going to leave the shelving unless I get really far ahead and then I'm going to sand basically up to that point and grind it all off and then potentially try and detach the floor from the hull. Fantastic. I know, isn't it just? I'm going to be working on the other side, so I'm going to be taking out the nav table today and we're taking out the nav table seat and potentially part of the pilot berth so I can access the flooring underneath there. The whole plan is to take up the current flooring and just replace it just like we did here in the saloon. I'm already pumped. I'm really annoyed because I didn't bring my headphones today, so I can't listen to anything whilst I'm sanding away. Mm. Did you bring yours? Probably, yeah. I don't want to share the money. Yeah, but you're not listening to my book, so... <laughs> <laughs> Let's restart yeah. it and then set a timer for 25 minutes. Ta-da! <laughs> anyway, it's a pretty good curve, I think. Now, is that how fiberglass should come out? <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't attached like here on the floor. 
Yeah. That was like really easy. I was actually just cutting down. Well, you're framed. You're like in a little, you're in a little cocoon. That could be your bunk. You could fit in there, couldn't you? I probably could. Oh my god, this is where the bunk is going to go. <laughs> yeah, we're nearly there. I think just a couple of splashes of paint, which is good to go. Yeah. Right, we're off to you next. I haven't done this bit yet. I'm going to finish literally just a tiny bit there. I'm going to go that this side, get the floor sort of accessible, and then I'm going to get the grinder out and get all this rubbish off. <laughs> Pretty. Thank you. Are you filming? I am. Oh, fine. Right, I have, have been quite productive. As you can see, the nav table has gone. That came out without too much of a fight. Um, the seat and the end of the pilot berth have also come out. So that's given me complete access to the floor down here. A lot of tabbing to the liner, which ends here. So it's only tapped to the hull here. So I just need to, this, this is actually not very well attached. So I can probably just rip that off um, and that'll come away. And then we've got a better chance of getting the floor up. The floor does go under here to here. So I still haven't decided how that's gonna work. It's causing me quite a headache. So next on my agenda is, while well, Ellie's gonna be grinding down the hull over there, I'm gonna work on getting this floor up and then taking some measurements. And then tomorrow, I think is gonna be a floor cutting day for me. Ooh, probably think, more grinding for me. I think probably some sanding for Ellie because although we're reusing the floor supports, we do need to sand them back and give them a good old clean and a paint. So let's get you a new sanding disc on. <laughs> Happy? Happy! Let's get, we have to get fully PPE now because there's going to be fiberglass dust rocking around the place. So Time for more strobing, is it? Oh, I get it. Oh, we got that! Yeah. Yeah, yeah! Episode 6, guys! You're funny. <laughs> this is a hose for the vacuum. We have a, somehow misplaced the our hose adapter for this, so that we can essentially plug this straight into the hoover, so that every time we use the sander, all the dust will go straight into the hoover. So, at the moment, this is like pretty much the same size, so I'm having to use gaffer tape to attach this, which works actually better than you think. I don't know what that gaffer tape is, but it's weird, isn't it? It's like really matte. We work in theatre, so gaffer tape to us is like an everyday thing. I've got the hang of cutting and sanding and sort of knowing when to stop or switch a blade on the multi-tool and I'm feeling like I know what I'm doing and like I know why I'm doing it. It's all leading to good things and I'm learning a lot as I go, which is really good and really exciting because I never thought I'd ever learn anything like this. So <laughs> it's a, yeah, it's an exciting challenge for me. It makes me feel like once we've done this, even though Ben's sort of leading this and he's kind of my mentor in a way, um, most of the time I'm waiting for him to tell me what to do. I'm going to feel like I know what I'm doing the next time I do it. We might love this and decide to do it again, so, or with a house or with whatever, like, it's just like learning so many new skills and it's really quite rewarding. <laughs> it's just hard work, it's hard work. You have to keep yourself fueled, keep drinking water, because you can so easily forget to eat, you can forget to drink and it's, it's hard so that's a little tip that i would implore on anyone else because ben's quite bad at that he won't eat and he's good he gets so stuck into a job and then he just realizes it's like five hours later and he's not eating anything so especially water like there's so much dust around and we're 
using a lot of energy so we just need we need to keep ourselves fueled and that does get you through the day more than you think this needs to be cleaned out it's disgusting come on then <laughs> This is what happens to you when you have an entire afternoon of sanding. It's got this like red and green yeah. tin. It almost looks like a sweetie. Like a zap lolly. Like a zap lolly. Finished that side. That actually didn't take too long. It took probably two hours. Not as long as I expected it to take. Um, we've left these shelves in for now just because we're gonna do the floor first and get all this sort of painted with our primer before we hit anything on top, or at least in the galley. Everything else has been taken out, it's actually the last thing left. I almost knew in my heart of hearts that this would happen, but we've obviously taken the floor up and it is extremely wet and the wooden stringers are completely sodden and they are rotted, so, that's something else we're gonna to have to look at doing now. I've kind of got a good idea of what to do, I think, if it's if it's all right. I need to have a think, do some research, and see if we can save these stringers. Of course we can. I'm the big mouth, you're the little mouth. Damn it. <laughs> microphone, muffs on the microphone. Microphones. It's been a long, it hasn't been a long day actually, but it's been a very productive day. We, we haven't seven hours forty five minutes. Okay, that's a long day for us. When we start working on the on the outside of the hull, I reckon we'll be working longer days. Much longer, yeah. But this was really productive. I sanded the port side up to where the shelving unit is, and half of the starboard side. That is easy to get off as it's, I'm just kind of smoothing out the fiberglass, whereas I was taking off paint on this side. <laughs> We've both taken out the rest of the galley. Ben's taken out the nav table and half the floor. So we need a floor pretty soon. At the moment, I've literally got like the tiniest little bit of floorboard that I'm standing on. That's the only bit that we can, that comes up, but that, that we need to get out and into the boat. We can't even put the steps back where they were so that we can get in and out, so we've got to use our muscles. So yeah, um, another day successfully ticked off. It was nice today because we haven't... <coughs> we haven't had a productive day like this in a while. I think we've kind of... I feel like I'm in the swing of it right now. Is that about you? Yeah, I'm feeling pumped and feeling good. I feel strong. The sand is quite heavy and to hold like that the whole time, it's like, works your arms out. Yeah. Um, I'm ready for some steak and wine now. Yeah. That's what we've earned today. Yes. We don't normally eat like kings. <laughs> okay, bye. <laughs>